Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. We are about to start day number four of opening the tea advent calendars that I have, but it dawned on me after watching Jan's uh, very first David's Tea advent calendar video that I probably should disclose to you guys that these videos that you're watching are definitely pre-recorded. I just kind of assumed that everybody knew that the process to film and edit and upload a video, at least for me, I can't speak for other people, can take anywhere between like six to 10 hours. So um, if I just did not want to risk not having a, a video, a daily video for opening up advent calendars for you guys. So, but we're gonna start off with some trusty Adagio tea. So let's go ahead and open up day number four. I just had my finger on it, I keep losing it. Ooh, I'm so excited. So this one is a cherry marzipan oolong. So the cherry marzipan oolong is a blend of oolong tea, cinnamon, apple pieces, rose hips, natural wild cherry flavor, natural almond flavor, cherries, and rose petals. And I, I know I said that I was excited, but now that I'm smelling this, it just sort of smells like, mm, like cherry hard candy and like stale cinnamon. And here is how the cherry marzipan oolong steeps up. I personally think that Adagio's darker oolong is kind of weak and thin. So it's, I, I typically don't reach for their flavored dark oolongs. This is really just all flavoring to me. I don't, I don't notice any marzipan. It's mostly cherry hard candy to me. And underneath that is like a subtle floral, rose floral flavor. Yeah, I'm kind of meh about this one. All right, I think it's time to dive into box number four from the Tea and Me advent calendar. <sighs> I haven't moved. I'm still doing work. We have some tea bags. We have some tea bags from Tips and Tea. And we have Tulsi Peppermint and Ashwagandha Mango. Let's see, which one do I want to sip? Whew, it's cold up here. So I am sipping the Tulsi Peppermint, which is a blend of organic Tulsi, organic peppermint, organic basil, organic lemongrass, and organic ginger. And I quite like it. I used to drink, I used to drink peppermint tea a lot and almost always like, like a bagged peppermint tea. I, I think Twinings, just Twinings was always in my stash for the longest time and I don't know why I ever stopped drinking it. I mean, it used to be such a comfort, really, in like these last two years, I've barely had any peppermint tea. I don't know if I would ever go back to a straight peppermint just because sometimes that can be a little bit harsh, even though I think like peppermint's supposed to be like one of those tummy soothing teas. It's kind of harsh to me now, but I, I really quite like this. I think blending it with the uh, organic Tulsi and the basil kind of like tones down the peppermint there's also kind of this really subtle spice like you may not even notice it at first because I certainly didn't when I first started sipping this but these last couple of sips like I've kind of noticed a nice subtle spice which I think is coming from the organic ginger but yeah pleasantly surprised this video is not going to be that interesting today I don't foresee myself getting emotional over Christmas ornaments today and honestly it's it's just it's it's year end, so I'm just super busy. I have though, I have the TV on behind me playing Christmas movies today, and I'm in the middle of A Christmas Prince on Netflix, and I, I wanna know, <laughs> am I the only one that is like obsessed with A Christmas Prince, that entire like trilogy? It's so cheesy, but there is just something, something about it. I, I, I have that one on repeat, like, all Christmas it's just it's good to have in the background I don't know it just makes me super happy do you have any favorite Christmas movies if you do let me know in the comment box below and also I I am one of those heathens that when they make bagged tea I just leave the tea bag in my tea 
All right, it is time to dive into Call Me Sweetie. I'm super excited if you couldn't tell. So we have Nutcracker prints from Call Me Sweetie. And I mean, I have to assume that this is from the ballet, the Nutcracker. I don't know of any other kind of like fandom things that like conjures up the image of a Nutcracker or a Nutcracker prints. So the Nutcracker prints is a blend of Kumaon black tea, cocoa nibs, cassia chips, lemon peel, cloves, cocoa extract, hazelnut flavoring, and natural and artificial flavors. And here we have some, and what is this called? Nutcracker prints. This is another really nice blend, but I don't think I really taste hazelnut. I'm mostly picking up cocoa notes and something that I might describe as like cookies or biscuit. Um, I'm also picking up cinnamon from the cassia chips. And I feel like I also want to say caramel, but I don't think that that's necessarily because of the blend. Um, I actually added brown sugar to this. And so maybe that's, maybe that's affecting the flavor. I mean, overall, I mean like cinnamon, cocoa, cookies, caramel. <laughs> That's delicious, but yeah, I don't I don't notice hazelnuts, which I'm okay with cuz I I don't really care not for hazelnuts. Not much time has passed since I finished drinking my Call Me Sweetie blend. I'm serious, like maybe 10 minutes. I was trying to get back to work, but my computer was being finicky and like wouldn't let me log in. So, I thought, hey, now's the perfect opportunity to introduce to you my fifth advent calendar, which I also have stored in my tea chest here. And that is Plum Deluxe. So, um, it didn't dawn on me that when I said in my first video that my fifth advent calendar was running a little bit late, I didn't realize that that might have been misleading because uh, you guys did not know that I was filming my Tease the Season videos a couple of days in advance. So, um, that was not my intent, I assure you. Like for next year, if you're considering buying the Plum Deluxe calendar, don't not buy it because you think it's gonna be late. Um, because mine arrived technically just in time, it's just that I started filming three days before December 1st. So, now that it is day four, I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with day four. But if you're following me on Instagram, I am posting, uh, like, I did post day one on December 1st and day two on December 2nd and so on and so forth. So, day four. Now we are back in the game. So day four for the Plum Deluxe calendar is a fog cutter black tea. And I actually already have this in my stash. Even though it's 2.30, I'm living recklessly. Actually, I have to edit this video tonight, so I need all the help that I can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and go make this. It's a blend of Assam tea, Ceylon tea, African black tea, Darjeeling black tea, lemon peel, and of course, as usual, love and gratitude. And here we have the fog cutter black tea all steeped up. Man, this is super, super hot. I might have to pause this and come back to it because it's, I'm not gonna be able to drink this yet. Whew. Steam is just rising off of it. I don't know how other YouTubers do it. Like I watch, I watch Jan's videos and like she just has this freshly steeped cup of tea and after three minutes she's slurping that down and I'm like, gosh, how do you not burn your tongue? Like. Really, how do you not burn your tongue? <laughs> okay, so it's drinkable now without sacrificing my taste buds. This is very easy to oversteep. Um, and I mean, you could definitely like save it with some milk and sugar. I prefer to drink this one plain. This is a really brisk black tea considering you have like four different in here. I do notice some floral and grapey sort of aromas coming from the Darjeeling, which really surprises me because that I always associate as sort of like a lighter tea. And then I also notice some malty Assam and there is lemon peel in here, but it's not really a flavor that stands out to me. It's, it, I think more than anything, it just 
adds like a brightness to the cup because it's a lot of black tea. It's a lot of, it's like five, four different black tea blends. I mean, basically what this is, is a breakfast blend with some lemon in it. And so this is actually a tea that I really like to reach for if I wake up super early in the morning. Like there are just some mornings when Oliver wakes up before the crack of dawn and I'm just not ready to be a human being yet. This is one of the teas that I do reach for. I think that it um, lives up to its name. It is definitely a fog cutter, like a mental fog cutter. So um, I, I really, I really appreciate this blend. And since we're here, the advent calendar wasn't the only thing that I bought. I have a couple of other blends that I'm really excited to taste, so I wanted to, to share them with you guys really quickly. It's sort of like a impromptu unboxing, although technically I've already unboxed it, so I guess it's like an impromptu plum deluxe haul. They also included the sample of their blood orange reflection tea, which probably won't love this. This just sounds like it's gonna be tart. <laughs> I also picked up some Sweet Spot Black Tea, which is a uh, butterscotch flavored black tea. I also picked up the Picard Blend from Plum Deluxe. I am so excited that they decided to add this to their collection full time. Most, most Picard inspired blends are just like a straight Earl Grey, and that's cool. I love an Earl Grey, but I mean, how many Picard Earl Greys do you need? So, but this one actually includes pecan pieces, which is, I've never seen that done before, so I'm really excited about that. I also picked up the chocolate rosemary caramel tea. I also, I did the blender's choice again, and unfortunately they sent me more fireside chat, which I love, but um, I kind of wish I would have gotten a different blend. I do know that you can write a note in the comments section when you go to check out what you don't want. So next time, I'll just say you guys have already sent me fireside chat, send me something different. But lesson learned. And then I also picked up the Oregon breakfast tea. Yeah, I'm excited about all of that. And it looks like I have about 10 minutes to wrap up this video before I have to like go and run to pick up Oliver from school. I'm gonna say that this is the end of this video. If you're doing an advent calendar today, let me know what teas you sip today or what tea, if you're doing multiple calendars, let me know what, uh, let me know what your favorite was. Also, what are your favorite Christmas movies? I, after finishing the, the first Christmas Prince, I moved on to the second one, which is the Royal Wedding. I'll probably, I'll probably watch the third one or well watch. I'll probably watch the third one tomorrow when I'm working, so. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and tune in tomorrow for day five of the advent calendar. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.